Hi everyone, seeing a lot of posts that people are nervous about the rougher water conditions than we've had for the last couple of days. So I just want to put together some quick tips on how to adapt. And by the way, if you watch the end, I'm going to give you a cool transition tip. But okay, so I've literally just come from the swim start. And yes, there's a bit more chop and there's a bit more, um, was it waves than there have been for the last couple of days. There's ways to adapt around that. First thing you need to do is make sure that you're not gonna lose your swim goggles on the way out, right? And how you do that is you anchor them either with two swim caps or you can do this and put the Ironman swim cap on. I use two, so there, my, my goggles are there. And now I will put on my Ironman swim cap because you do have to wear this, that's the rules. So this has to be over. So that means no matter what wave hits me, there, it's secured, okay? This is also important because we have an Australian exit. That's what they call when we go, have to go out on land and run in and go back in again because people dive in and the goggles get knocked off. So secure your goggles. You need them. That's going to be a long swim if you lose them. That's your first thing. The second thing, and this is the hardest part of the revised conditions. The main thing is the waves are kind of high coming up in the first 10 meters so it's getting out past them what i recommend is you wait out to your waist height and until that the waves may hit you but turn let it break in your back fine it's not going to hurt you and um, but once your waist height then start diving under the waves and start getting into your stroke it's only going to be uh, difficult for around 10 15 meters but once you pass that it's just a little bit of extra swell from the tide coming in um, and the wind that's the second thing you need to, to work on the third thing is adjust your swim stroke a little bit if you can, because there's a bit more swell and, the, and the, 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 there's a bit more movement in the water, you're not gonna be swimming like you are pristinely in a pool and all the rest. So gliding is gonna be not as useful as it would or effective. So what I will do is short my swim stroke, just more choppy swim stroke, try to get more catch. It also means if there are minor waves, you're punching through more than trying to get your hand knocked away more powerful strokes, okay? You'll get through the waves. Keep moving forward. And um, the only other thing as well I would recommend is sighting a little bit more. If you sight every six to nine strokes, a little bit more, because you're gonna be moved around a bit more in the water. Use the, the boys are out there big, they're, they're very obvious, keep an eye on them. So sight a little bit more frequently. And um, again, keep moving forward, constantly stroke. The other, thing, the, the other thing I would recommend is, this is the fun part of the day, when you're coming out from the first and second lap. Remember what it was like to boogie board as a kid, where you put out your, and you catch a wave and you surf your way in? That's the way you exit. Check out where the waves are coming, surf your way in. At that stage, let's get a little bit back from Mother Nature. She kind of smacked us in the face a little bit on the way out. That's the kind of tip. So secure your goggles wade out until you're comfortable in terms of then dive under the water a bit more of a choppy stroke sight a little bit more often keep moving forward and again the fifth part is surfing dude and um, okay cool so listen conditions are just slightly a little more more, more difficult in the water tomorrow but you've got this you've done the training you just need to adapt okay cool as promised the final little uh, transition tick trick um, when you're coming out of the water and you're sort of getting your wetsuit out, what I will do is pull that out. When you're pulling up your swim cap and your goggles, get it in one hand and pull it through. And when you're pulling it, your arm through the wetsuit, let go. And then let go. I'll come over to watch. Your goggles and your swim hat will be there later on after you finish the race. You don't need to worry about putting them in place. Guys, have a super race tomorrow. Hope to see you on the course. Do wave. I'll have Piranha Triathlon. Um, it's a blue and red top. Um, shout out. I'll shout out to you. Encourage your fellow spec uh, racers. Thank volunteers. Have banter with the spectators. You've got this. It's going to be a great day. A little bit of extra waves isn't going to stop you.